the praises of God in the house. Give a shout to the Lord. I said give a shout to the Lord. Give a shout. Give a shout to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is so wonderful. God is so wonderful. Hallelujah. We honor God for his mercy. We appreciate God for what God is doing in the house hallelujah just say to your neighbor welcome in the house of god welcome in the house of god let's just turn our bibles to the book of uh, second kings chapter seven we can take our seats the book of second kings chapter seven I want us also to appreciate my beautiful wife Prophet has destiny song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And all oh, every servant of God, we appreciate you. Amen. Hallelujah. We read from the book of uh, 2 Kings chapter 7. From verse 1, the Bible says, Then Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. That says the Lord. Tomorrow, about this time. Tell your neighbor, said, about this time. Shall a measure of fire by wisdom a house is built through understanding it is established and by knowledge its roots are filled with rare and beautiful treasures welcome to hour of wisdom we pray you'll be inspired by this mind molding may there be supernatural interventions over your life to get you out of any shame and embarrassment. Wisdom Field Message. Be blessed. See it with your eyes, but you shall not eat thereof. And there were four leprous men at the entering or the gate of the the entering of the gate. And they said one to another, Why? sit here until we die if we say we will enter into the city 
then the famine is in the city and if we shall and we shall die there and if we sit still here we die also now therefore come and let us fall unto the host of the Syrians if they save us alive we shall live and if they kill us we shall but die and they arose up in the twin light to go unto the camp of the Syrians and when they were come to the outermost part of the camp of the Syrian of Syria behold there was no man there for the Lord had made the host of the Syrian to hear a noise of chariots a noise of horses a noise of the great host and they said one to another lo the king of Israel has hired against us the kings of the Etatites and the kings of the Egyptians to come upon us wherefore they arose and fled in the twin light and left their tents and their horses and their donkeys even the camp as it was and fled for their lives and when the lepers came to the outermost part of the camp they went into one tent and did eat and drink and carried their ends silver and gold and garments and went and hide it and came again and entered into another tent and carried their ends also and went and hide it then they said one to another we do not well this is a day of good tidings and we hold our peace if we tarry till the morning light some mischief will come upon us now therefore come that we may go and tell the king's household so they came and called unto the gate of the city and they told them saying we came to the camp of the Syrians and behold there was no man there neither voices of men but horses tied and donkeys tied and the tainty as they were and he called the porters and they told it to the king's house house within and the king arose in the night and said unto his servant i will now show you what the syrians have done to us they know that we we were that we be hungry therefore they go out of the camp to hide themselves in the field saying when they come out of the city we shall catch them alive and get into the city one of his servant answered and said let some take i pray thee in the city behold they are all the multitude of israel that are left in it behold i say they are even as all the multitude of the israelites that are consumed verse 14 and they they took their therefore two chariots horses and the king sat after the host of the syrian and saying go and see verse 17 i'll jump on 17 and it says and the king appointed the lord on whose hand he, he leaned to have charge of, of the gate and the people trodden upon him in the gate and he died as the servant of god said who spoke when the king came down to him and it came to pass tell us it came to pass as a man of God had spoken to the king, saying, Two measures of barley, and uh, two measures of barley for a shako, and a measure of fine flour for a shako shall be tomorrow about this time in the gate of Samaria. Father, we glorify your mighty name. We thank you for your word, which is living, active, sharper than any two edged sword. Your word is already blessed. Touch our ears that we may hear that which you are speaking to us steer up lord the atmosphere for your word to be spoken in jesus mighty name amen hallelujah 
we see from the scripture that we have just read there was famine in the land of Samaria and the servant of God Elisha came and declared a word spoke a word and said by this time tomorrow he declared saying by this time tomorrow the measure of fine flour will be cheap if we convert that into our in our currents which means it is a shako a shako, a shako it's a, it's about four quacha 78 way that's what the currents and the measure of fine flour to those that are in who are into bakery they understand it's a cup which is can measure about uh, uh, 125 grams that's that's a measure when he talks so you are talking about a measure and uh, you the servant of God said at the time when there was famine in the land and he declared that the flour will be cheap at the gate and now the man who was a captain the one who sat near the king he opposed he says behold even if God was to open the windows of heaven this cannot be so even if God was to open to make the windows of heaven to open this cannot happen and the servant of God says you will see it but you will not partake of it you will see it but you will not partake of it and now we are told because there was a word that was declared by the servant of God. Elisha declared the word because the word carries power. The word is a seed. It carries a creating power. It changes the atmosphere. The Bible says faith comes by hearing. And the atmosphere, the place was charged up. And now we are told in verse 3 and the Bible says now there were four leprous men. The, the leprous men now are mentioned after the atmosphere was charged up because there was something that this leprous men did after an atmosphere was charged up. They spoke to themselves. It says we cannot stay here. Why sit here until we die? Why sit here until we die? They were compelled by the word that was declared. I've entitled this the, the message today your manifestation shall not be restricted or stopped hallelujah under the theme of supernatural speed hallelujah your manifestation will not be limited your manifestation your becoming will not be resisted there was famine in the land the man was part of the city he saw what was happening but when the word came he opposed what the servant of god said he resisted the prophetic word he resisted what the servant of god said and elijah also answered back elijah answered back and said you shall see it what i've just declared because i said by this time tomorrow for example around this time the way we are seated here and the word is declared say by this time tomorrow during lunch hour fellowship fine flour will be cheap by this time your appointment will come by this time your miracle will locate you and now this man was operating in the natural because he was thinking of you know how the season operates because it, it has to take a certain season for wheat to be grown and also to be harvested and to be prepared and now he's looking at this man of God he says even if God was to do this this cannot be yes windows can open but this cannot this manifestation cannot take place and elisha say you will see what god will do but the manifestation you will not partake of it you will not partake of it and we see god using the feeble people that are weak the rejected the people that were outside the city 
and these were the people that picked that sensed the moment that it is time to shift they picked they sensed the moment all these years they were at the gate waiting but at that particular time they sensed that it is time for the season of manifestation they sense the anointing of possibility they sense the anointing of speed they sense the anointing of manifestation they say why sit here until we die may the word of god bring you to the place where the, you come to the place of awareness where you perceive that i've dwelled enough at this place it is my time to manifest it is my time to become it is my time to walk in my miracle it is my time to see the hand of god over my life this is what the word of god is able to do never give up coming for lunch our fellowship never give up being in the presence of god because in the presence of god the word of god steered up the atmosphere for many years they dwelled in the place they said we have sat enough here if we go in the land where we were we have been rejected because the 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 people with people with leprous they were separated they were outside the city and they say if we go in there's no food there but there is one option let's walk towards the camp of the enemy the syrians if they serve us well and good if they kill us well and good but let's move towards it's very important to sense where your miracle is the says even if they are there they can kill us but we let's move towards and you know what god did god had to use the vessel of these labor the leprous people as they took up the step towards the syrians the bible says the syrians heard noise they heard noise and they say to themselves the king of israel has ganged up he has called the Ittites, the egyptians and they have come to come and attack us and they fled in the moment when god wants to to bring speed manifestation over your life what you do you do what we call displacement there is a place where your enemy are standing there's a place where your, your enemy are standing and that's where your breakthrough is god will not wait for the season the, the natural season to take place i want to give an example This is hundred shekel the israel is the israel uh, cadence hundred you can stand on it you can stand there you are not an enemy i'm just giving an example you can come so the syrians were standing where fine flower was where god was where food was so when the man of god declared in the atmosphere he caused a shift to shift them from the place of famine from the place of lack to the place of abundance so he says by this time tomorrow so when they the, the men the four men the leprous men as they were moving towards the syrians there was a displacement that took place god had to cause a shift god had to cause 
speed the fine flour that would take them a year to grow it was available within 24 hours can take your seats and this is what god will begin to do over your life there will be displacement the, your enemies are standing on your prosperity your enemies are standing on your breakthrough god will cause spiritual displacement to shift them from your position to shift them from your place and the bible says when they went the men they started the first time they found they entered in when they reached at the outermost part they discovered that no one was there they entered in they corrected they they went to hide and they went for the second time they picked and they went to hide and the state time they said no no we are not doing good because the miracle needed to be heard in the city god the same god that worked through them he did not want them to keep the miracle to themselves because that breakthrough was not theirs that breakthrough was not theirs so god called spoke at the end within them that this day is a day you can take your seat this is a day of good tidings if we keep this good news something mischievous something bad will happen unto us that's why it is important when god blesses you it's it's important you come back to the altar where the miracle was based you come and testify because the word was declared in the city hallelujah come to the place where the miracle was birthed i've seen where people you have you have been prayed at this lunch hour fellowship and you want to testify somewhere come and testify right here because this is where the seed was birthed this is where the seed that that brings out the, the the miracle entered in you so you need to come back to the place so we see the men going back to the city and when they reported to the men who were by the gate they went to tell the king and the king said i know and you know for your own information the Sam, uh, samaria had attacks many times by syrians so they have the history of the attacks they have history of the attacks and for them to hear this report they said no they know that we don't have food this is the setup they want us when we enter in now they'll capture us and they'll go with us in the city and they said no 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 let's send some people to go in and they went in and they saw that there is no one they followed even across jordan they discovered there is no one and they were running in haste everything you could see that people were rushing because there was great noise this is what god will begin to do god will cause great noise when the word of god comes over your life today it will cause great noise in the camp of your enemy hallelujah and the king had to appoint the same man that opposed who told the man of god who said even if god was to open the windows of heaven this cannot be he was put to be in charge of the gate to be in charge of the gate one of the things that you need to understand child of god when a prophetic word comes over your life when it is being declared it is always resisted look at this man when elisha declared the word there was this man the captain he resisted the prophetic word he says this cannot be and i believe more of most of us who have received the prophetic word of our lives concerning our destiny and the enemy says this one cannot become according to the family pattern this one cannot become there is always a resistance to a prophetic word that is declared over your life because the enemy knows when you become great many generations will be transformed so he resists the prophetic word 
he resists the prophetic word so this man resisted the word that was declared at the point of being declared he resisted it and even when there, there was a manifestation now of a word that was declared by the man of God he still went by the gate to control the manifestation to limit the manifestation to restrict the speed because the servant of God says by this time tomorrow the same man who opposed the word that was declared also was standing on the gate the Bible says the people as they were rushing in verse 17 it says the king appointed the Lord on whose hand he leaned to have the charge of the gate and the people trodden upon him in the gate and he died as a man of God had said it who spoke when the king came down to him he died he saw the breakthrough but he never ate anything he was standing by the gates to control the people but the people trodden on him there is manifestation that is coming over your life no one will stand on the way the speed that is coming on the way the speed that is coming on supernatural speed that is coming over your life today anything that is standing on the way today we break it in the name of jesus we break it in the name of jesus whatsoever is standing your is standing in your way today we break it in the name of jesus whatsoever is opposing the manifestation of god's word over your life today we cancel it in the name of jesus it is your season to step in it is your season to manifest the greatness of god over your life it says i enter in in my season of supernatural speed i enter in in the in in, in the season of my supernatural sp speed in the name of jesus hallelujah god is touching your life today i said god is touching your life today any manner of resistance today we break it in the name of jesus it is your season to become you have waited enough you have waited enough you have waited enough you have waited enough it is your time to become it is your time to become answer back elisha answered back tell me say answer back when the enemy is speaking answer back Answer, silence the enemy because this man was operating in the natural and the manifestation was taking place in the spiritual says you see it God will only permit you to see but to take to partake of the manifestation of the word that I've declared you not partake so we learn from this that the word of God came to pass fine flour was available and the man that was told that by you see it the bible said it came to pass the man died i declare the word of god by the grace over the house that may god begin to establish your your life right now may god begin to open up windows of heaven over your life today it is your time to enter in it is your time to settle it is your time to enter in in the mighty name of jesus any gate that wants to resist your becoming today we break it in the mighty name of jesus we break it in the mighty name of jesus we break it in the mighty name of jesus any false hope that the enemy has been bringing before you today we render powerless right now in the mighty name of jesus when you read from the book of mark chapter 11 we are told of the story that when jesus came he saw from afar a fig tree which was showing leaves and when he came closer he thought maybe the fig tree were there and when he came closer he found that there was nothing jesus had to curse the tree he the bible say he answered back may no one eat from this there are certain powers that have been resisting your manifestation it is time as a child of God to rise up 
the word of God the servant of God our daddy a bishop have been declaring the word and some of us you have been saying I've been coming but nothing is happening there is time you need to carry it in prayer labor in prayer take it in prayer my word my manifestation will not be resisted the word of God will never return to him empty but it will bring manifestation the word of God will never return to him empty but it will bring it will perform that which God has sent it for hallelujah say I receive my portion today I receive my portion today I receive my portion today like bl bl blind but mares when he sensed when he sensed that God Jesus is passing by he sensed the noise he knew that this is my moment to enter in the Bible say when he was shouting they resisted him they says be quiet but the Bible say he shouted even the more even the more whatsoever is trying to silence you to oppose what God has spoken over your life resist it the Bible says from the time of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of God has suffered violence therefore violence shall take it by force you need to be forceful for you to be fruitful you need to be forceful for you to be fruitful when it when it comes to destiny don't be casual when you receive a prophetic word begin to pray over the word begin to pray over the word pray for the word that god i pray for manifestation i pray for speed the man of god elisha had to deal with this captain who wanted to resist the manifestation of the word there was a cause in the city there was need for food in the city imagine the man was sitting next to the king he was a captain yet opposing what God wanted to do over the land instead of acknowledging solution for the land for the city but he was opposing and Elisha never permitted he says you will see you will see but you will not eat of this only the people of faith the Bible says without faith it is impossible to please God he that comes to him must have faith you cannot partake of that which is born of faith you need to have faith you need to have the word within you you need to believe that there is transformation my life is shifting my life is becoming what the word of god has declared over my life may yahweh manifest grace over your life today may yahweh transform your life today may yahweh shift you to the place that he has prepared you for your destiny any opposing voice today we silence it in the mighty name of jesus any evil pattern that was standing in the way that you cannot become you cannot be appointed you cannot be healed today we break it in the name of jesus your manifestation has come you are manifesting great your promotion has come over your life in the mighty name of jesus say i receive my miracle today i receive my breakthrough today i receive my breakthrough today I want you to stand and begin to declare begin to pray over your life concerning your destiny nothing will resist my life nothing will fight my life nothing will resist my life supernatural speed is over my life supernatural speed is over my life nothing will stand in my way I am becoming I am becoming I am becoming in the name of Jesus I am becoming in the name of Jesus it is my season to become it is my season to become it is my season to manifest greatness in the mighty name of jesus i declare i declare speed over your life over your job over your career in the mighty name of jesus 
Rubaya Katalabaya, Rakato Shantadea, Rimante Katalaba, in the mighty name of Jesus, in a resisting force, resisting manifestation of supernatural speed. We break in the name of Jesus. 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 Rakedo Sham, Pera Karabaya. In the name of Jesus, I become, I step in my destiny, I step in my appointment, I step in my marriage, I step in my healing, I step in my breakthrough, I step in, 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 step in, in the name of Jesus. Step in right now, step in right now, step in right now, step in right now, step in right now. Grace to become is available. Grace to become is available. Grace to become is available. Step in, step in in the name of Jesus. Kerapaya, we step in. Paroya Talaba, Mantele, Rapari Katalaba, Kesharabaya Kalababa, Mantadea, Raparaba. I step in by the grace of God, by the spoken word, I step in by a prophetic word, I step in in my season, in the name of Jesus, I step in, I step in, I step in, in Jesus mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatsoever was opposing your life, we break it in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever was standing in your way, we break it in the name of Jesus. Any evil get man that was opposing you today, we break it in the name of Jesus. Any power that was opposing your marriage today, we break it in the name of Jesus. We break it in the name of Jesus. It is your season to, to be married in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to appreciate God. 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 Begin to appreciate Yahweh. Begin to appreciate God. Begin to appreciate God. Begin to appreciate God. Begin to appreciate. Thank Him for stepping in. 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 Shandere baba bosia, marada kaba baba bosata te baba. Somebody pray on the Lord is stepping in. Oh kato baba boshi kaba baba. Something is happening here. The atmosphere is stirred. Shara de kaba baba bosia, janda kaba bosata baba. Mara je baba kosia. Jababosaya by this time tomorrow Shiramandorobosia receive good news by this time tomorrow receive your elevation by this time tomorrow walk in your breakthrough by this time tomorrow may there be a shift in your life by this time tomorrow May there be a connection by this time tomorrow. Karabo hosata koba, jelele bosi ababa. By this time tomorrow, may your economy change by this time tomorrow. Shara baba bosi, manta koba yata teja. Brada da babu kosi ya baba Shandelelele bosi ya baba Maria andelelele bosi ka baba Shabare ko baba baba bosi ya Wari andelelele bosi ya baba By this time tomorrow Shelele bosi ka ta baba ya by this time tomorrow, there shall be a breakthrough in your business. 
by this time tomorrow a breakthrough in your ministry by this time tomorrow a breakthrough in your finances jeba kopa yandesha marare kobaya jandere bosia baba kalama bokosata babaya kandare kobaba yesoa jala le bosia baba oh god Shata rikato babasea Manta rika babasi koto baba Shalala bosi katanda rika baba yato Shaba le katapa kosatea Shalala bosi ya baba Kanta reko baba yato ma Shilalo bosi ya dada Oh Kataba, may your word come to pass. May your word come to pass. May your word come to pass. Cobra Osata Kapa. In the name of Jesus. Oh God. Somebody give God a big hand of praise. Jesus. Yeah. Oh God, to him a day is like a thousand years. A thousand years is like a day to the Lord. He can compress a thousand years into one day. God is God. Yes, God is God. Spiritual laws are higher than natural laws. Higher than scientific laws. Yes, spiritual laws are high. Why Elisha is not struggling to operate in that frequency? He saw it happen in Elijah. Yeah. No wonder he mourned Elijah prophetically. My father, my father. The horsemen and the chariots of Israel. In short, you who has power to control the chariots, the economy of Israel. You who has power to control the horsemen, the military strength of Israel. In short, the economy is in your mouth. Yeah. You pray that there should be rain and rain comes. And we are able to walk in our abundance. Uh -huh. So, Elijah. As he said, by this time tomorrow, the economy was released. The economy is in the mouth of a prophet. Yeah, it's in the mouth of the prophet. Horsemen are in the mouth of the prophet. Yes, he spoke that. And there was a release of an economy in the realm of the spirit yes and it it manifested within 24 hours that's a god we save guys that's a god we save now how do we tap into that prophetic arena it's by believing the word it may not make sense but it can make faith walk in it yeah so you are not far from your breakthrough yeah it's within the word you believe within the word you believe parakopa key in yeah and it was it was the the four lepers yeah prophetic waves don't respect names they respect faith and spiritual position the guys are nameless but they plug into the moment into the moment cobra hosiah 
Oh, the next wealthy move. Yeah. Shall catch nameless men and nameless women who shall connect to the frequency of God. Kaprohasaya. Yeah. We are not told their names. All we are told is four lepers. The emphasis there is on the number four and on the condition. Four lepers. Yeah. Four lepers. Because four means stability. Yeah. Four means to root out and to take care of yourself. These guys were about to root something. And they were about to take responsibility. Stability was coming. In their lives. Every unstable life. By the power of the word preached today. Let stability come. To any leper here in any area. Oh yeah come on. Every financial instability. May stability come. I am marito instability. May stability come. Ministry instability. May stability come. The Lord that made the lepers stable. May he make you stable. Woo! Stability. I hear stability. I hear stability. I hear stability. I hear stability. May God make you stable in ministry, financially, in marriage. Let stability come. Kobabo hosa takapa. Japa le kopa. Kopa le koya. Stability. Physically. Mentally, emotionally, spiritually, let there be stability. God, Woo! stability came to the nameless people. Nameless people, ha! nameless people, Kilabo Hosaya. Yesterday they were begging. The following day, they were distributors of food and carriers of good news. Guys, life can change. Aya. Hey. Ka. These guys were begging yesterday. But today, they are carrying gold and silver and food and they are distributing. Rejection is gone. How do you reject somebody carrying your food? The guys who... How do you reject somebody with money? They reject you because you are broke. That day of Chakopa. Rejection was gone. They found acceptance. Prophetic word worked over their lives yeah they sensed it yeah beloved they sense it you must pick what's happening pick the frequency yeah there are words that have been spoken over this country over your life pick it and be on the side of they that make it happen. That's it. That's it. What a word. What a word. What a word. They, they resolved. Because beloveds, you must learn to talk to yourself. They spoke. If we stay here, 
we die. Take stock. Check where you are. If we stay here, where is your here? Where are you staying? Ulingezi part. Unuza. Pagumbe sabu ino pamene hapa. Palichana pamene uliri hapa. What's where you are seated? For you to continue sitting there. Where are you seated? Yeah, they decided to get into motion. Yeah, guys, miracles are worked. There's no gift of miracles, but the gift of working of miracles. You work a miracle. They decided to stand up and make steps. Take steps. What steps are you taking? To, to bring a manifestation of the word spoken over your life. You can't just sit and say it shall happen. There's a side of God to, to fulfill. There's my side of prophecy to fulfill. I'm telling you. Yeah. Otherwise, you think the prophet is not a prophet of God. He is. But we've just not learned how to behave prophetically. The word is clear. Yeah by this time tomorrow yes 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 and you know guys guys <laughs> guys as in the new covenant huh? as in the new government co covenant we live in the reality in the fulfillment of scripture yeah, it's like God has already fulfilled his side. So it's waiting for you to fulfill your side. He has already declared it is finished. Huh? So prophecy is like by this time tomorrow. Huh? Guys, they in the old covenant. We are not in a better place as where we are now. You are living in finished work. Ah, it's prophecy waiting for you. It's prophecy waiting for you. It's, it's prophecy waiting for you. It's you to mature. It's you to, to lock in your faith. It's you to do your part. God has done it already. God has done it already. 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 Step out, guys. Yeah. We are already in that tomorrow. You can decide today and begin to see things changing. We live in finished work. It's us to apply ourselves to the power of Calvary. Ayaka, to him who was prophesied. Ayakopataya, to apply ourselves. Yeah. You are not waiting for healing. Healing is waiting for you. Yeah. By his stripes, you were healed. You got healed before you became sick. Yeah. 
We are not the sick looking for healing. We are the healed looking for sickness. We are not the poor looking for wealth. We are the wealthy busy working hard to be poor. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, come on, live in the word. Yeah, walk prophetically. Give God a big hand of praise here. My good Lord. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much, Bishop and Apostle Songe. Yes, for being God. Yeah, awesome. For being God. For being God. Yeah, for being God. There's hope for Zambia. Yeah. Hope for Zambia. I'm telling you. I'm telling you because the messages we are receiving here. Uh, yeah, we honor God. We honor God for you. Yeah, God bless you. May God bless the church. Yeah, God bless the church greatly. May God continue to multiply your life and everything you touch and do. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. They are, they are pastoring, pastoring a very wonderful church. Right in Chilenje. Yeah, right in Chilenje. Where, what, what's that place? Huh? It's very it's right Chilenje Mo on top of the bank. What bank is that one? Ebi Bank, exactly. Busy claiming money. How can how can you how can you be poor there? <laughs> very excellent church, excellent church. Preached there, wonderful place. We appreciate God for you greatly. Amen. Lovely up on your feet sense if your offerings are not here you make sure you lay them right here right here